God is there with you all the time. Just <laughs> look to him and you will find him in this video also. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again, all of you. Great to see you back. Today's video is on a very important topic which is very much misunderstood in astrology. And this is one of the videos which I have made and probably you will not find this video anywhere else in the internet or especially in YouTube or even if you go to different seminars given by big big astrological gurus whether it's from India or from abroad you will not find it probably you will probably you may not or you may find something more than this also all right so whatever you can take from this I would appreciate so what is the topic of today's video today's video's topic is what is the difference between Jupiter and Venus but we all know the difference, right? Yes, 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 we know. Jupiter is spirituality. Venus is love, romance, sexuality, marriage, partner, opposite sex. Oh, no, 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 no. Jupiter also represents children. Oh, my God, Venus gets exalted in Pisces. What's happening here? <laughs> oh, maybe there's some other reason. But we know Jupiter is beyond this world. Venus is of this world. Venus is a Jala Tattva planet. Jupiter is Akash Tattva. We all know the differences, right? Is that all? Oh, no, no. You will say now, okay, Venus represents luxury. Jupiter represents spiritual comfort. Venus represents vehicles. And Jupiter represents the environment of the home the ambience all this is true but there is something very important which everybody misses what is that venus at the end of the day represents your ability to interact in this world with other people i'm not talking of friends here anybody in fact your interactions are primarily ruled by mercury and venus they are very important for our interactions and within them the opposite sex is also one of them but the question is what do you gain out of those in interactions ultimately in the long run do you just gain nothing as it happens in most of the mundane circles when two materialistic people meet then what will they discuss they will just discuss probably in my age as I am in my 25th year currently, most of my friends, if they meet each other, they have some standard protocols which they follow. First thing they will discuss is how miserable their job life is. <laughs> That's the first thing they will discuss. I mean, what's the use of discussing that? By discussing that, you become more miserable during that time and again when you go to work. All right. What's the next thing they will discuss? Who is getting married to whom? They will discuss, okay, in our school there was this uh, girl, she got married to him, there was this boy who got married to her. Then in our engineering or our bachelors or when we were studying medical or law, then this girl got married to this person. Oh, they had a love marriage, they had an arranged marriage. These are the two standard protocols which people of my age, primarily from 23 to 28 these five years they follow why because they have nothing else to discuss that shows how dry their life is i'm not talking of any individual person here i'm talking in general that means even though their venus which represents luxury comfort sexuality romance all this venus may be well placed but is Jupiter happy in the chart because Jupiter will tell you what you ultimately gain out of those inter interactions by gain I am not saying uh, gain on a mundane sense on a monetary level I'm not saying that okay if you meet this person okay then he gives you a contract of a million dollars or he gives you some contract I'm not saying gain in that sense but do you obtain some value in your life that is the question is the interaction with you I mean, your interaction with another person, is it giving some value to you in life? Is your life getting uplifted? That is the question that has to be asked. 
so therefore whenever we judge the marriage or the marital overall marital life of a person it is very important that we do not only see the seventh house or venus we also see the position of jupiter that is very important because jupiter will ultimately tell you how much happy the person will be do you understand <laughs> because jupiter gets directional strength in the lagna in the first house which means that when jupiter is strong in somebody's chart that means jupiter is behaving as if it is in the first house should i repeat if jupiter is strong in somebody's chart it is behaving as if wherever it is placed it is behaving as if it is situated in the first house as if that doesn't mean it is sitting there nor does it, does it mean that it will give results of that house the first house nor does it mean that it will have the same power like the lagna i am not saying that jupiter in the lagna is very good but what i am saying is even if it is in other places in a friendly sign especially in a fire sign or in a water sign because jupiter gets exalted in the sign of cancer then also it is very powerful and sagittarius is a fire sign it is his moltrikon sign so jupiter is extremely powerful in fire signs and water signs so then what happens is what i have seen in my experience if jupiter is well placed and venus even if it is not very well placed then what happens the person has the capacity to be happy overall in his life he has the capacity to see to seek a overall fulfillment out of the marriage even if venus is not very well placed because venus will uh, give the mundane interactions with the opposite sex how much are you uh, be how much are you able to enjoy the company of the opposite sex or are you only fighting or are you very good with the opposite sex all these things will be told by venus similarly is the condition of money venus represents liquid cash notes currency that is ruled by venus now jupiter represents the satisfaction that you gain out of the income that means jupiter has two signs which it rules it rules the sign of pisces and it rules the sign of sagittarius so that means it is also indicated here that 12th house is the house of charity so if you want to gain some satisfaction from the income which you have earned it is always good for us that we do some charity depending on our current situation now some people if you tell them they will say that oh i can't do charity i don't have money i don't have this i don't have that okay you may not do monetary charity but you can do any other kind of charity if somebody is crying you can go them ask go and ask them why are you crying can i help you if you see a old person walking the street you can go and ask them that my dear sir or my dear madam can i help you cross the street how much time does it need it doesn't need 2 minutes also it's just a matter of 1 minute so for you it may be 1 minute but for that person it is a very it, it it's something which is very close to his heart he will remember it for the rest of his life that yes in this world there was one person who helped me cross the street especially if he's a old person so how much happiness do you have out of your money so see these days what is happening venus is increasing but jupiter is going down <laughs> what's the proof the proof is people are becoming more and more materialistic they are they have forgotten the presence of god in their lives forgotten what they never remembered actually because you do not forget things which you are very close to if a boy and a girl are madly in love with each other they will never forget each other 24 hours they will be thinking so the very fact that you have forgotten something is an indication that you didn't have much attraction towards it so because of that what is happening like for example in my father's times people used to earn how much my father when he was working in the government service as a very senior bureaucrat his salary when i was in my childhood that was maybe roughly 10000 uh, sorry 15000 indian rupees that time it was roughly around uh, maybe 
12 15 years back that was that was that was the salary which you used to get after all the tax deduction is complete <laughs> but nowadays i have some people like i have one of my uncle he's earning some 2 lakh rupees monthly indian currency 2 lakh rupees my god you compare 15000 and you compare 2 lakhs it's huge it is like probably how much money my father would earn in one year or maybe two years <laughs> that much money this fellow is earning in one month but if i see the satisfaction level of my father and the satisfaction level of my uncle that is that somewhere like in hindi you say na zameen asman ka farak it means there's a difference of a heaven and a hell there's no translation in english but i am trying to translate it which also means that although people are having a lot of money a lot of resources these days but people are not happy people are becoming more and more miserable suicides are increasing depression is going up number of divorces are striking high it's skyrocket all the problems addictions drug abuse rape sexual abuse my god why is all this happening because venus is increasing in kali yuga but jupiter is going down unfortunately that is why all this is happening so venus and jupiter are very similar that is why they say both are very uh, great benefits parashara says venus is even more benefic than jupiter but the question is without jupiter can venus function well it cannot <laughs> that is why it goes to the sign of jupiter in its arch enemy sign pisces where it finds exaltation otherwise why in the universe will a planet of material comforts go into the 12th house the original 12th house it's a disastrous placement <laughs> but the placement is there parashara has assigned pisces as the exaltation which means that unless you learn to take to spirituality which is moksha which is 12th house you will somehow not find happiness with your materialistic comforts we have the epic example in the indian epic mahabharat i always quote the example of this person because not because he's one of my favorites which of course is one of the reason <laughs> but apart from that also he is actually a very great personality his name is the great yudhishthir himself so dharmaraj yudhishthir he was the king but he was such an elevated personality that lord krishna god himself used to go and take his blessings <laughs> lord krishna would personally do that can you imagine now you may say oh krishna is just in a human form he is teaching us lessons that is true that is, that's the ultimate answer but even then can you imagine <laughs> Krishna, God himself is going and uh, touching his feet. And Mahabharat does not qualify anybody as Dharmaraj, not Dronacharya, not Parshuram, not Bhishma Pitama, not Arjun, not Bhim. Mahabharat only classifies Yudhishthir Maharaj as Dharmaraj. Dharma is the ninth house and Raja is the tenth house. And he was the one who was born with the famous dharma karma adhipati yoga which is the link of the ninth lord and the tenth lord in anybody's horoscope we will discuss about dharma karma adhipati yoga later but what i am saying is he is the epic example he had every venusian thing which anybody could desire but not every king is known as dharmaraj why is only he known as dharmaraj because he was a strict adherent to the principles of the scriptures and to the word of God, he never hesitated to perform what Lord Krishna said. He was extremely charitable to the Brahmins, to everybody. He used to treat every citizen of his country as his own son, as his own daughter, as his own child. He used to treat everybody. So he is the Dharmaraj. <laughs> so we cannot become like him, but we can at least aspire and at least we can follow in their footsteps. Mahajano yena gata sapanta as it is said in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Mahajanas, we should not try to imitate them. We should try to follow in their footsteps. Alright. 
So this is the difference between Jupiter and Venus. Venus will give you things, but Jupiter will tell you, are you happy with those things? Because it gets directional strength in the Lagna. Lagna means the self, how much happy you are internally. How much cool is your head? How much are you in line with your purpose? Purpose is the Lagna in the 10th house. That the Lagna is signifying and Jupiter gets directional strength there. So if Jupiter is strong in somebody's chart, it's really a very big blessing. And also another thing we need to know is when we study the difference between Jupiter and Venus is we need to understand that Venus although represents mundane comforts, but Venus also represents our ability to be happy in this world. It also represents that. So whenever you check for spiritual progress along with Jupiter, you should also see Venus. See, what did I say first? First I said, when you are analyzing Venus, it is very important to analyze Jupiter. Now I am saying, when you are analyzing Jupiter, which is spirituality, it is also very important that we analyze the placement of Venus in somebody's horoscope because if Venus is not well placed and the person takes to spirituality, okay, then what can happen is, he may lack happiness within that. He may not be able to feel that happiness inside. Now because Jupiter is well placed, at least he is going towards spirituality and that will happen overall at the end. But it will become very difficult for him to feel comfort from that spiritual path because Venus is not well placed. But the question is what to do if Venus is not well placed or if Jupiter is not well placed. Well, we simply check the exaltation signs. For example, Jupiter gets exalted in the sign of Cancer and Venus gets exalted in Pisces itself. So that means for Venus, we do not need any other remedy apart from spiritual upliftment. So even if your Jupiter is strong and Venus is not very strong, Jupiter itself is enough to pull Venus because it rules the exaltation sign. So if Jupiter is becoming strong, your Venus is automatically improving. You do not need any other separate remedy to treat your Venus. All right. And to treat your Jupiter, take it to its exaltation sign, which is Cancer. What is Cancer? Cancer is the sign of the heart. So whenever you are doing some spiritual practice, do it with all your heart and soul and full motivation. It is the sign of the mother, the original fourth house of the zodiac. And how does a mother take care of the child? Very meticulously. She is very particular about when to give milk to the child, uh, when he will come from the college, when she is going out for tuition. All these things the mother is very careful of. And accordingly, she will be on time. <laughs> so whenever... You are doing some spiritual practice. Make sure there is regularity. Just, just do it as if that's like your life and soul. Then only Jupiter will be functioning properly in your chart. Otherwise, it is like being in Capricorn, which is the, which is the indication that you are just doing things without much attraction, without much emotion, without much attachment. So that will not yield you spiritual progress. That's unfortunate. So therefore. Both Jupiter and Venus are important. What astrologers do is, when they will analyze Venus, they will ignore Jupiter. And when they analyze Jupiter, spiritual life, they will ignore Venus. This is the two very big mistakes people do. Please do not do this. Whenever somebody asks you marital life, first check Venus, then 7th house, then other things, but also see Jupiter. Whatever you see, do not forget Jupiter, I am saying. I am not talking of way to predict somebody's marriage or how marital life is that i will make on some other separate video but what i am saying is if you take marriage itself then do not neglect jupiter because marriage is actually a part of dharma and dharma is the ninth house so for marital happiness you must see jupiter at any cost the sign which jupiter is placed in is very important Do not miss that. And when you are starting the spiritual life of a person, how much can he go ahead or what are the obstructions which he will inquire, which he will incur in that path? Do not 
forget to see venus venus is also very important otherwise i have seen is if jupiter is well placed and venus is not well placed then what happens the person although he has spiritual inquisitiveness and he has the ability to go forward but he does things very half heartedly he doesn't find pleasure which is venus venus is pleasure happiness uh, jupiter is happiness pleasure is physical happiness is internal it's the heart <laughs> so that is the difference between jupiter and venus there you go if you are new to my channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you want a personal consultation from me then check my website vedic renaissance below and that is it from my side if you want anything else then let me know in the comments until next time wish you good luck with your jupiter and venus placements bye bye see you